in honor of Red Letter Media's review of The Last Jedi, can we finally pretty please collectively agree that their brand of criticism isn't and has never been necessary? They've done far more harm than good, and I'm willing to lay out why for as long as possible. Fuck it! Here we go! Straight up, Red Letter Media is the embodiment of how much cishet white males can ruin the fun of cinephilia. As long as you're relentlessly negative, absurd, but not funny, you shitty rhetoric, and pepper in toxic jokes, body shaming, rape, etc. You're golden. Because of their depressingly massive following, their views, which are flimsy and clumsily expressed at best, are held as consensus. Thus, all manners of civil discussion over why someone likes or dislikes a certain movie are shot dead, replaced by snide revisionism and gatekeeping. That false consensus and Red Letter Media's confounding popularity in general gave way to all sorts of awful developments. Besides the aforementioned killing of good discourse, YouTube sees them as forefathers of video making, which is infuriating to type out, but is true nonetheless. Harassing the cast and crew of the prequels may have started with Phantom Menace's release, but Red Letter Media did no favors by adding more fuel to that fire several years after Revenge of the Sith. That toxicity could have went away, but they felt the need to voice their disdain long after. Seriously! Imagine hating a series of films from close to a decade ago so much that you felt the need to make hours-long videos as to why, without even presenting good arguments, or being wholesomely entertaining or insightful with your shtick. And yet it blew up in popularity. Because of that popularity, Red Letter Media and their approach to criticism has been ingrained into online cinephilia. Like a disease! And like a lot of white mediocrity, they're held in high enough esteem to be considered... academic. Another crushingly sad but true statement. It's asinine! And like a lot of other toxic yet successful white people, a good portion of their fan base is rabid and abusive. Pretty sure that running gags involving pizza rolls aren't worth me receiving death threats and or being called a retard for simply liking a space opera trilogy. I was once part of a movie forum in my tween years as a means of escape from my shitty real life. And I would be told by grown adults, some of them moderators, that I had no reason to live because I dared to suggest that George Lucas wasn't the Antichrist. Which brings me to another byproduct of Red Letter Media's god awfulness the further demonization of artists. Like the harassment, it was something that already existed. Even before Lucas with Joel Skaboomikmer. But again, Red Letter Media's entitlement injected it further into the mainstream. Thanks to them, and other goblins like Doug Walker, artists like Lucas, Shyamalan, and the Wachowski sisters, who've done little to nothing morally wrong, are made out to be monsters simply because they stray from the norm. The norm, by the way, being save the cat kind of bullshit. And while that happens, the real monsters, Alan, 
Jodorowsky, Polanski, etc. are given a pass by the likes of Red Letter Media. They uphold formative genre builders no matter what, and can only tear down what's happening right in front of them, which happens to be ambition. How counterproductive does that sound? The fact that the biggest voices in video film critique are against breaking the mold and stick solely to things that are at best tired and rote and at worst toxic and harmful. Are these the men we want educating newbie cinephiles?